How to Catch a Gingerbread Man by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Once upon a story time at the bookstore down the street, some friends come in to have some fun. They're in for quite a treat. Sitting at the story rug with a special book in hand, the reading is about to begin about me, the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can, the storyteller starts to read. So out I pop right off the page and break away with speed. You kids will never catch me. I'm much too fast for you. Especially when I have help from the boy who never grew. This clever trap won't do the trick. You need a magic spell. And with a wizard on my side, your traps won't do so well. You don't need courage, brains, or heart. You've got plenty of those. You only need a better trap to keep me on my toes. You thought this trap would really fool the world's greatest detective? He sees right through your wise disguise. It seems your trap's defective. Now your traps are getting better. I admit, I am impressed. But Robin Hood just saved the day. I think he's just the best. A bow tie, buttons, even pants? This place has everything. But something here is not quite right. What's with this great big spring? What a big trap you had here. The better to catch me with, I think. Too bad my friends helped me escape. I'm up and gone in a blink. This trap you set was no big deal. It's broken now, but how? Perhaps a boy with magic beans saved me with his cow. Alice and her mad hat friends, as a gift for my unbirthday, helped guide me through the walls of shelves. Now I'm bound to find my way. What a great day. I'm having fun. You youngsters sure are bright. But have you given up on me? There's not a trap in sight. I've won again, and I must say, this trap wasn't half bad. But as I take my victory lap, I notice you look sad. I may be free, but now I want to see your smiles and laughter. So back I go to give this tale a happily ever after. The end.